real, indeed. That's probably partially a camera angle setup thing. I've been doing the setup for it very quickly. So that, that doesn't help. Yeah, you you know you never know uh, what kind of what kind of speed tech you could have. <laughs> Did I make it? What the fuck? I did make it. Okay, that was really strange, but I'll take it. Yeah, that might work. Good enough. Yo, thanks for the follow. Yeah, see you there. Um, but yeah, wait. So what? What kind of game is is the the bluey game? Like two D, three D? I I feel like if it's three D, there's bound to be some shenanigans, dude. Okay. <laughs> yes, that uh, that was a very weird bruv skip, but it is. It's, it's good enough. <laughs> we, ju we just need to get it. Um, but that that's one of the things I love about speedrunning, though, is... The quality of the... Sp like, you know, because, like, a, a casual game, it's usually... I mean, people have their opinions, but a lot of games, it's it's like, you know, a little more obvious, like, oh yeah, you know, this is generally recognized to be a good casual game, or like, a bad casual game, you know, but I feel like with, uh, with speedruns, you really never know. A game that, or, or, or like, when a game is, uh... When, like, a game is not good casually, but it has a really good speedrun, th those are some of my favorites. 2D and a 3D space kind of thing. Oh, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I, I, do you know if anybody's done... done runs already? Because, I mean, it, it, it could go, you know, a, a bunch of different ways. It could be just kind of straightforward playing the game and it's like, you know, still a good good meme or whatever. Or it could just have, or it, like, or, or it could just have, like, the craziest tech you've ever seen, you know, and the run's awesome. But I, I do love that when, when a game that looks like it wouldn't be very fun or a good run actually doesn't end up being a good run. Oh yeah, that's that, that's pretty good then. I think kidnapped is a good example. You know, a game you play it and it's like, wow, this uh this game is not great. <laughs> but then it has a bunch of cool speed tech and it actually ends up being pretty fun, albeit a little jank, but that's alright. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's pretty good, though. I mean, I guess, I, I guess I'm kind of used to, I, I like, running a lot of games where it's just, like, three to five people <laughs> playing it, but... Yeah, no, I mean, I think I think that's I think that's pretty solid. Have a united day. 
Um. Oh, you gotta get ready to skip this. There's a lot of uh, licensed games that end up having really good speedruns too, and I enjoy those as well. For a similar reason. Like, Fairly Odd Parent Shadow Showdown might be one of the most difficult games that I've ran. But it's like a it's a but it's a fairly odd parents game, so you know a lot of people would look at that and think when when it, when, it, when, it, when you when you're talking about it and, and, and explaining like oh this game is really technical it's like what do you mean man it's fucking fucking Timmy Turner dude how like how how hard could it be right but now that game has crazy tech it it, it actually is so cool that game is awesome. <laughs> Like, all, all kinds of, like, you know, tight movement, frame-perfect, uh, tricks you can only try once. Cool out of bounds. Yeah. I'm gonna learn Bluey and then the Fear series going into the next year. Oh, I, I have heard those have cool runs, yeah. That's always fun, too, when you, when you run, like, games like that where you look at them casually and they're so, uh so different it's like all right so we're running fear okay okay and then what, what else what else are you running we're running bluey and it's like wait what <laughs> but then it's like then you watch the run and it's actually cool so yeah i don't know i think i think a lot of times with with speed runs it's you you, you almost like, like you do want to look at it a little bit as like like how the game presents itself but at the same time that doesn't necessarily reflect what the run ends up being like yeah disposable income you just put bounties on meme listo that would be pretty sick i i might i might be down to help contribute to that Like colony skip or some shit. I mean, depending on how much it was, I could probably throw a little bit at that. Yeah, from what from what I remember, Ty, I, I, I've seen uh, Maxi run them a little bit, and they seem to have a lot of out of bounds. Yeah, exactly. It's like, all right, I run, I run Wolfenstein. All right, what else? Uno. What? <laughs> you know. But again, like I, I just I feel like the, the 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 way the way the game presents itself definitely is important for a casual playthrough. But I mean, even in, even in like a glitchless speedrun, like you might be playing the game pretty differently than how you're quote unquote supposed to. I'm a little low on ammo. Gotta be a little careful. I'm gonna avoid shooting this guy. I don't. I don't remember how many bullets I'm supposed to have. It's at least three, actually. So yeah, I'm not gonna shoot him. Hopefully, he's nice to me. Nice. You almost broke it playing casually. Yeah. Some sometimes those kind of games are fun, I like that. I did buy those games. They were, they were, they were, that's, that's, you know, add that to the list of, uh, Steam games I, I haven't finished yet. But, yeah. Keep going to the back exit. I'll contact you there. I did, like I was saying earlier, I did buy Persona 325, because that was on sale. Um. Maybe I should add something else in that's a little bit shorter to play casually as well, because those games are going to take forever. <laughs> Not that there's anything wrong with that, but... I, I'm realizing how many Steam games I have unfinished, and it might make me feel a little better to finish some of them. Oh, Looney, do you know how to? Can you, do you know how to do this? By the way. Oh wait, did I just do it? No. I did not mean to do that. That's not good. It looked like I almost had it for, for like it. Oh my god, it almost didn't play at all. Okay, I need to be very careful with my my ammo now. Don't instantly grip. Okay. 
Yeah, because it seemed like it actually wasn't starting right away, and then as soon as I grabbed it, it, it did. I played them for Halloween, they're really short. Maybe I, I, I mean, maybe I should pick those up next. Oh, God. Bird game's literally like two hours casually. I don't know, that could, maybe that could be like a good casual stream to do as well. Not sure. I, I, I like doing more casual game streams. I've been enjoying that recently, although I do have to... I do have really, really long a and GDQ coming up in the next couple months, so I do have to spend a little bit of stream time practicing for that. I mean, I can practice those games offline, too. Like I was saying, I've already been practicing Dead Space 3. For my run in a couple weeks. The ammo drop here would be pretty dope. That's fine, though. Oh, and Fear and Hunger too, right? Yeah. Am I doing any hot fixes? Um, no. Wait, there it is. No, I'm running a uh, Dead Space remake at a uh, AGDQ in like two months, ish. Dude, I didn't even finish Fear and Hunger one yet. I know you said I don't really have to, but it might be nice to do that. Too many games to play. That works. Oh, I shouldn't have stopped to do that. Come on. Uh, make it. Yes. Okay. Good enough. Really? <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't. I I don't have any hot fix show appearances um, scheduled at the moment. But uh, you never know. Um, but yeah, I've, I mean, I've, I've, I've been on a decent amount of them before. I would say Speedrun from the Crypt is the one I've been on the most, by far. Elias, I'm in the elevator, I see the But, uh, that, with, with, with that one, it's usually, like, or with, with most of those shows, it's usually the host, like, reaching out to people to, to invite them, so, you know, if I ever, if I ever get invited, it's like, hey, do you want to play something, or do you want to play this game? I'm usually like, yeah. This is actually an area of Aftermath I've never really glitch hunted, now that I'm thinking about it. Sorry. Kind of just a random thought. Or, if I have, it's been a very long time. Just a thought. In fact... I don't have a save over in this area, I don't think, so I'm gonna do that. Like, this is a point in the level where if you could, uh, launch to the end, pretty nice. Yo, what's up, Barbaric? Like, you're, 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 you're decently far on the level, but if you could skip the rest of this, that'd be really fast. Oops. Um, but yeah, I, you know, because I was thinking, like, the, or this is kind of off topic, but I just remembered, um, the, the Fear games... That seems like it would be a fun thing to do on stream, but if I don't think I'll have time, maybe... I mean, I could always save them for later, but I don't know. I could play those offline, too. Oh, you're doing a hot fix show this weekend? Nice. What are you, uh... Like, do you know, do you know what show it is? But yeah, we'll just we'll just see it because I've been enjoying running this, and then um, do need to practice max percent. And if I'm gonna practice that, uh, like do full runs, uh, that's probably gonna be on stream. Are you fucking? Okay, that's a little silly, but whatever. But yeah, that's that. Th those runs are so long that I would definitely be. I mean, I'd, I mean, if it was remake, I'd probably be doing full runs only on stream too, just because of how much time I have. Oh, it's like a like a special. Okay. Um, what do you what are you uh playing? I still don't think I need these health injectors, but I'm gonna grab a couple of them. Get ready for a fight. 
Really? Oh, gotcha, gotcha, okay. Nice, well, uh, well, good luck with the, the run, hope it goes well. Shit. There we More ammo. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Um, but you said uh, like the upcoming upcoming weekend, right? Um, depending on what it is, I might be able to check out some of it. Um, I'm pretty busy on Saturday, but not sure about the rest of the the weekend. Do I have enough grip for this? It's gonna be kind of cringe if I don't. I might have a grip battery still, so maybe it's fine. Ah, whatever. Okay, we're good. PC carked it and he lost six months of work on the game? Damn, dude. Wait, which game is this? Like, what, what dev? That's rough, though. Oh, Fear and Hunger 2. There's going to be an update. Okay. Is Fear and Hunger 2 kind of new? I mean, apparently new, new enough that they're releasing an update at some point. But that sucks, though, man. That's rough. Sucks I didn't have more, uh, more backups, I guess. I don't know what game engine it's on, but I, I feel like a lot of uh, game dev people use stuff like GitHub, right? But, I don't know. I don't know what, what this... I don't know what his, his workflow is like. But, yeah, either way, that's, that's super unfortunate. Oh, RPG Maker, right, yeah. Hmm. I mean, my, my first thought is, like, it's still, like, I mean, I, 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 I would think... I mean, may maybe they just didn't have backups, like, at all. It's possible. If that's the case, that's that's definitely a mistake you only make once, that's for sure. Right. Yeah, I mean, like, I have an- I, I pay for a, uh... I use Backblaze, like, it just, like, updates stuff automatically. Or, uh, uh, backs it up, I mean. Ooh, ammo? Nice. I, like, at first I didn't, I, I didn't want to. Especially because, like, obviously you gotta, like, pay for it, but... I don't know. I, I don't even remember the exact words. Like I had, I had like a professor say something to me once, or like our class, like, like not just me, but about like backing stuff up. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it's a good idea. And I, I can't remember specifics, but I definitely have downloaded stuff from old backups as well. Right. This is clearly Jacob. That vent in the far corner will get you 
has been used cloud for like everything. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, because I, I feel like that that'll happen to some people. And that, that's what I mean about like you only you only do that once. It's like once once you like if you have an experience like that where you lose like something, even if it's not like a lot, you maybe you lose like one project or like one file somewhere or something, right? You know, it's like, oh damn, I I don't want this to ever happen again. <laughs> You know, but yeah, that sucks. I, I'm I'm sorry to hear you lost all that stuff. Yeah. I mean, I don't I don't know how well uh, the Fear and Hunger devs like other games have sold and like how much you know. I I, I would hope that they they they're like still in a comfortable spot. I was thinking, like, financially as well, because obviously that's, like, a big delay. Then again, is it a free update? Maybe? I, I, I don't actually know a lot of details about this. Either way. That, that sucks. DLC speedruns? Um... <laughs> maybe? I don't know. I didn't enjoy the DLC as much as the main game, and the speedrun is a little cursed. I mean, the main game speedrun is, is like, also a, a little cursed, I would, I would say. <laughs> But more passion projects. Oh, okay, I see. I mean, well, well, either way, that's that's still rough, yeah. I don't know what that was about, but, uh... <laughs> I'm assuming something got stuck in the trap and it just kept playing, like, making sound over and over again. Elias, I made it, I'm at the checkpoint. Good, now get to the window. Yeah, I was seeing like people talk about like how much money the the person who made Lethal Company probably made, and it's just like man, just like like just uh just just do that, man. Just just make one super successful indie game that makes you millions of dollars, and then like you just don't have to work anymore. I mean, you can work on stuff you want to, but like yeah, that's that's like it's it's as easy as that. Anybody could do it. <laughs> Maybe not, but I don't know. I, I feel like I've always heard that kind of thing. You you gotta get you just gotta get like really lucky with that though, you know. I mean there's people that, that probably aren't like super famous or anything, but they just make a lot of their own like indie games and make like a decent living off of it, you know, but that definitely doesn't happen to everybody, <laughs> you know. Where is that recording? Like stuff stuff like, you know, like Cave Story and Undertale where they just absolutely like, blow up. Yeah, I, I haven't, I still haven't bought it yet, but I, I figured, um, this upcoming week if I actually have, like, time to, or, like, next weekend if, at some point if I have time to play when you guys are playing, I don't know, I'll pick it up. I just hadn't bought it yet because I, I, did, I didn't want to, like, buy it now and not be able to play for, like, a week or two and then, like, you guys are done playing, you know? Oh, it didn't... It didn't lag. Well, I guess I did run... Maybe it's because I loaded this area once already. Hmm. Is that close enough? Yeah. I used to like making games for fun. I mean, I still like working on games now, doing like audio stuff, but um but maybe maybe someday in my my infinite free time, I will <laughs> pick up game dev again. I was learning Ren Ren Renpi, Renpi. I don't actually know how to pronounce it. I was learning that very briefly. Like a month or two ago, because I had an idea for a visual novel I wanted to do. I would definitely have to get some of my friends that are artists to help, though, because I, 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 I don't know how to draw. I, I kind of know a little bit of programming, 
you know, audio in terms of like like audio would be my like my specialty. You know, I'd be bringing to the table, and then like you know, obviously I guess like writing is. You know, yeah, it's a yeah, it's a visual novel engine. Yeah, it's not super fleshed out, but I had an idea for like a horror game that could work in like visual novel form. I should probably write it first, like that. I think that's probably the first step, It'd make things a lot easier. But yeah. If I ever got into, like, making my own games again, though, it probably would still just be for fun. And then if I made any money off of it, that'd be cool, too. But... Nice. Oh, Looney, I don't know if you were here when I was saying, the like, what I've been doing for that part. Um, I don't know if you have any trouble with the bounce, but I've noticed if you just, do, like, as soon as you let him go, if you just run as soon as possible, like, you just aim and then go, um, it seems really good. Like, I haven't been missing it. Pressure check complete. Release. The author of, uh, Umineko and Higurashi can't draw, but damn if his games aren't are top tier. Yeah, I mean, if, if I were to do the entire thing by myself, I'm sure I would figure something out. And I mean, like, you know, some people do teach themselves to draw, and it probably still wouldn't be super good, but, like, that is an option, you know? But, like, just to make, like, a basic visual novel, it seems like you don't really need to know that much programming, and I know, like, a basic amount of Python, so it'd be probably... Like, I could, but like, I mean, with that, like, you're using a lot of, like, the same kind of things, and, I mean, if you're trying to customize it, it's gonna be more difficult, obviously, but... The game I'm trying to make would probably not be that complicated. But, yeah, I mean, if I, I, I should pick that up again, I just have to actually write it. I mean, I have a lot of, like, different little projects and things I'd like to do as well, so it's just like... It's like, damn, I don't know when I'm gonna do all this stuff. Like, I, I did want to get back into making YouTube videos again, and I made one, and then I just haven't. I mean, I, I have a couple scripts that are either done or, like, you know, have a decent amount of work done on them, but I just haven't had time to work on them. Painting is fun. Um, I actually did do a little bit of painting a little while ago, and, and it was a good time. It wasn't very, it, it wasn't super good. But, uh, it was, you know, it's cool. Yes, Shark Hat Clips, man. That, those were fun. The thing is, like, a lot of, a lot of my free time to actually work on, like, projects like that would be on the weekends. And then it's, like, even then, it's still not a lot of time. It's, and I gotta balance that with, like, doing laundry, maybe if I haven't already, like, gotten gas or, like, groceries, shit like that. You know, cleaning exercise and then it's like damn it's the weekend i want to just fucking i just want to play video games all day you know and it's like that's cool but then it's like then i don't have time to work on like other like you know creative projects or other things i don't know that's what i'm so i that's what i do is i just i make a game i make a few million dollars easy and then I can work on whatever projects I want. It's just that easy. Anybody could do it. I don't know. It, 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 do, it, it is like... Kind of... It, I feel like those kind of stories are still like kind of like inspiring though. When you see like people just like, you know... Have their game like take off. You know? It's like... That could be me. Someday. Maybe. <laughs> Speedrunner stats are challenges. Oh yeah, I, well, have you have you seen the uh, the wall boosting one I did on like on Dead Space recently? I I wanted to do more like that. Um, uh, I guess like well I I don't, I don't know if people like uh, is it like a spoiler to say like what your next YouTube video is gonna be? I feel like I've seen like summoning salt. He'll like not say exactly what the next video is gonna be until it launches, or like right before it launches. You did okay, cool. Yeah, I, I actually have a script that's almost done. God damn it. I have a script that's almost done for uh, Bush Skip and Outlast. I was, I was thinking about doing an Outlast one next. Um, but yeah, I've, I haven't looked at it in a bit. From what I remember, the script was... 
it was either done or it was like almost done. Yeah, I, I would like to finish that. It, it is a lot of work, though, with, you know... Like, after I write the script, then it's like, okay, then I gotta, like, record gameplay footage, or download gameplay footage, and then... Um... You know, then record the voiceover, edit the voiceover, start stitching it together, realize I need to redo some of the, the voiceover, or re-record something, or like, oh, I actually want gameplay footage of this. I, I think stuff like that would probably get better, like, the more videos I did, though. But that was a little bit of the process with the other video. And then you gotta actually edit the whole thing, too, so. It's terribly coded. I feel like I have heard some memes about Undertale's code. Yeah. But, you know, that's that's also not that's not to say that, like, uh, other parts of the game aren't really good, too. Like, the game is really funny. The music is amazing. Um, you know, the, the gameplay is good. Like, it, it, is a, it is a really well-made game overall. But, you know. What the fuck? Okay. But, yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I do... I mean, at some point with my career, I'd also like to get back more into, like, doing stuff with games. Like, game audio, stuff like that, you know. But I do I do enjoy, like, even just for fun, working on games in general, even if it's not, like, audio stuff. And I just kind of, you know, was thinking about that, like, I want to work on more games again. Or make, make more... I used to make games in Game Maker, right? Um, a lot in, like, middle and high school, and that was a lot of fun. Dude, I kind of need to heal. Maybe I'll do that. Actually, I don't know if... You don't... You don't heal when you get the, the other suit, right? I don't think so. I'll just heal now. Fuck it. Doesn't take that long. But yeah, I figured the visual novel would be would be cool. Because it in in some ways might be easier than... You know, making some other types of games. I feel like I don't know a ton about the inner workings of, like, a lot of RPGs, but I do like playing RPGs. So, like, you know, maybe, like, an RPG Maker game could be cool to try at some point. I want to say I had downloaded it. I don't know if I still have it installed. It's like, you know, a little, like, in, I think it's just like the short term, it's a little overwhelming to think about, like, a lot of, like, stuff I want to do and get done and work on. But, I mean, I have a lot of time to do stuff like that. Yeah. Most games are held together with string. I mean, hey, if they weren't, maybe speedruns wouldn't be as cool, so I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> the suit does give you full health. Oh, maybe it does, okay. Maybe I should have waited to see. Well, I don't have full health still, so if I do after that, then... That'll, uh... Oh, we'll, we'll know, I guess. Yo, what's up, Dist? Yo, thank you for the good luck, man. I appreciate it. Hope you've been well. We are callisting the protocol. Once again. <laughs> Wait, is that a gold? Oh, almost. I, it might have been. It might have been a gold if I didn't heal, actually. Depending on the mechanics you want in the game. Right, yeah. That's the only problem is like... I like playing RPGs, but it's not like... It's not like the main genre I play. So like, I know how to play them. But like, if you were to say... Design an RPG, it'd be like... Uh... <laughs> you know, I'd, have, I'd really have to like... Well, not that it's like... I mean, I think anyone would have to like think about it and like design it. But you know what I, you know what I mean? It's not like... It's not like 2D platformers, for example, where it's like, I feel like I've played those a lot more, and... If you were to say, just like, you know, start working on a 2D platformer, it might be a little easier to figure out. Well, maybe not programming. I don't know, maybe not programming-wise, but you know what I mean. 
If you want to just say fuck this run. Nah, we gotta we gotta we gotta see how lost goes at least. Made it this far, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is the... This is the trick. At the moment. Like the most important part of the run, I mean. Uh, is it this way? I always keep not going exactly the right way. Yes, that is right, okay. Alright. Yeah, no, I, I, I probably won't play tonight, but I, I, I will hopefully, like, if you guys are playing sometime this week, then I could, I could probably pick it up. It does look like I have full health now. Okay. So that is, that is actually good to know. Um, I mean, it's probably okay still. I think I have at least one health injector still for animation cancels. So, yeah. All right. So, uh, but yeah. Um, if anybody didn't see the other two runs we did so far, um, yeah. This this is the biggest uh, skip on the run coming up. Like the most important uh, trick to actually get. Um, I could gold it by a lot if I get it first try, but it is really easy to just lose minutes and minutes on this. Um, and you know, uh, wouldn't you know, the, the last two runs we did today, uh, did die to this, but it is, of the skips I am doing, it is definitely the hardest. Um, I've gotten way better at Habitat, so we've been consistently saving, like, four minutes there, which is awesome. Uh, the first chapter is a bit of a reset point, but it's been going pretty well, and then the second chapter is, is glitchless, so it's just like, you know, it's not, it's not too bad. Um, oh, well, uh, I'm probably not playing co-op super soon, but, um, I, I am de-resting max percent, um, for, for really, really long-a-thon in, uh, a couple weeks. What the fuck? That was a lag spike. <laughs> Didn't get that one last time. Yeah, no, no, I mean, I, I, I am going to be playing Dead Space 3, just, just not uh, co-op, probably. Alright. Okay. So, it does take a little bit to actually get to the main part of the skip here, but we're going to try to get out of bounds first. Okay, nice. Yeah, that was trolling the shit out of me last time. That seems good. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna do uh, that was that was one of two inventory hovers we're gonna do which lets us float through the air Okay Nice Just change of pace from evil within no, that, that, that's fair, yeah. Um, if you're looking for someone to play co-op with, we do have a channel for that in the Dead Space speedrun server, if you're, if you're in there. Oh, yo, what's up, Gulch? Yo, thank you for the good luck. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, if you're, if you're not in there, you should, you should join and, uh, or I think I've seen you in there, but anyway, yeah, there's a, there's a looking for co-op player channel in, uh, in Dead Space 3. Um, it's worth a shot. It's, uh, where am I? It is a little dead, so there's a chance uh, you might not get a response, but like, I mean, it's 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 somewhere you can look. We need new eyes in this game. You're out of ideas. Yeah, I've been I've been I've been really trying to think of ideas in a glitch hunt, and I have not made much progress. It feels like we've hit a wall, but that doesn't mean there's not other stuff to find, you know. There was another spot in aftermath. Like I, I've just been kind of going through and testing stuff. 
like making my way through and just kind of combing, you know. God, I almost fell. Rubbing up against walls, trying to get deloads. There was another spot I hadn't actually tried again yet. I I don't I don't think anything's gonna come of it, but I was gonna try again. Alright. It's like where you meet up with Elias before the shoe. I was just thinking about it. I was like, I don't know if I've ever actually glitched onto this area before. So yeah. RE5 cops when we're live than three. Or DS3, yeah. That yeah, makes sense, I guess. I mean, Resident Evil in general is, is a more popular series than Dead Space, so it's not too surprising. Yeah, I, I just figured I'd offer that as a suggestion, because, like, I mean, I have seen people find, find players in there before, but... Yeah. Oh my god, that was such a fast launch. Holy shit! Okay, we gotta run. If I don't get cucked here. Getting to the ship. Oh my god, dude. Ship should just be like right over here, too. There we go. Oh my god, dude. That was crazy. Yeah, that that is gonna be hard to compare against if this PBs. Oh my god, dude, the fucking speed on that. Wow. I don't think this calm golds, but that's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I think I think Looney was right. That's working for now. Just like don't pause buffer getting in the rock. Is this? Danny, this isn't on record pace, is it? <laughs> Sim is definitely a decent amount ahead of me going into Lost, I'm pretty sure. But that was really fucking good. Danny, okay, that was a little silly, but whatever. Oh wait, this might actually be sub 750, barely. Hey. What are you doing? Nope. I didn't he say his gold was 750? <laughs> God damn, dude. This way. So what were you expecting to find? Yeah, if this PB is uh yeah, that's like to my ship. Cause that put me in a pretty decent spot too. Sometimes you land in complete, like you land in completely different uh, areas after after the lost launch. Like that one was really fast, put me pretty close to the ship. Okay. Yeah, this this is a run for sure. Shit. My hands with the keyboard. Well, we gotta wait for Danny anyway, so I, I maybe didn't even lose time there. No, it's a corn dog. We we are cooking. Back there. Why did you do that to Elias? I was in a hurry. Didn't have time to transfer the data. I need to know everything I can about what's happening here. But you just ripped it out. Like you haven't done the thing. Not to somebody I know. Alright. 
So we can go for below hover. If we don't get it, not a huge deal. Um, there's no other really like huge tricks left. So we are kind of chilling for a little bit. Obviously, this, I mean, this whole level is just waiting around pretty much, but yeah. Love the dial up sound there in the background. Damn, I, dude, I still can't believe that shit. That was so fast. I want to say Sim said that Lost could still be a lot faster. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't think it was like the whole level was perfect or anything, but I mean, right now I would, I, I, I feel like I can't even ask for anything, anything better than that. That was really nice. I think Sim would be upset if I beat him this run. <laughs> it's like, okay, like, I don't, I'm trying not to think too far ahead, right? But sometimes when you get splits like that, it's like, damn, that's really nice that I got it on this run, but like, I was enjoying playing this. I don't want to just like, not be able to beat my PB anymore. <laughs> but we'll see. Who knows, maybe we'll get a better one next time. I could go for boxless sewer skip. Save like... I don't know what, like a, not like a minute, but... All right. Yeah, if anyone, uh, if anyone just got here, uh, these splits are real. We got a really good uh, lost segment. All right. Uh, I will go for below hover again. I still don't know if I exactly remember my setup, but we'll see. Shit. Sounds like the hangar's still coming down. No, I just mean sometimes when, like, you can compare against, you know, average or other, other other segments, you know, that aren't, like, your other comparisons, I mean, that aren't your real PD, and it'll make it look like you're super far ahead, but it's like, like, oh, I'm 15 minutes ahead of my average, but it's like, you know, oh my god, you're on pace. You know what I'm saying? They are real. This is just a lot better than my PP. <laughs> This run, honestly, has been fairly solid. I mean, I did lose a lot of time on Bruv, but like... You know, my, my... My general strategy for this these attempts was, you know, Oh, I know I can save a crazy amount of time in Habitat and Lost, so if I lose 30 plus seconds in Outbreak, it's not... I'm okay. The end of the world. I can see another way. I'll meet up with you. I will say, Outbreak actually is probably... That, that, oh, I, I, to be fair, I didn't get Oxygen Skip, so, like, um... Those two chapters, uh, I could save a lot of time, potentially. Damn. I think I hit it just a little bit too late. That's all right. If you miss the or um, if you get the hover, but you don't hit all the triggers on the way down, which are invisible, uh, can soft lock the game. So, 
I mean, in practice, I never had that happen. I just know that's like a thing that can happen. That's fine. My PB doesn't have that trick. It saves like 40, so not a, not a huge deal. Doesn't help our chances of world record pace, but that's okay. Found a ladder. Heading down. I do have to practice that, though. Yo, what's up, uh, Bam and Boy? How's it going? This, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the record is going into below, but it this could be record pace. I know Sim said he got a 750 as his gold, but I don't know if that was in his run or not. So we either tied record on that split or we saved time, I think. Everything's up. Got you. Dude, stop getting stuck on shit. What the fuck? <laughs> like, man, what the hell is that? My goodness. That was a little stupid, <laughs> but okay. Someone say if you shoot these guys, you can pick them up faster or sooner. I don't remember. Can you move? Thanks. I did skip one of those checkpoint restarts, so I need to do one soon for grip. Unless I have enough to get around the one enemy coming up. Definitely gonna get more grip here. Ah, uh, maybe I didn't even need to do that. Honestly, that is probably faster. Wait, does that mess up the cycle? I hope not. 
Maybe it does. Hopefully this doesn't... Hopefully I didn't just completely fuck that up. Uh, we'll see. Reloading here does. But ideally they will still all follow us in here. Basically I don't want there to be a bunch of those guys around uh, the locked door because if they hit you while you're in the animation it cancels it when you're trying to open it. And like a lot of things in this game it takes forever. So you really don't don't want that. I mean, okay, some of them are coming in here still, so that's good. I just need them to not be right here, and reloading does reset the spawn, so, uh, oh no. Okay, well. Don't fall on nothing, man. Come on. Oh yeah, see, like, this guy's here too. Oh, we got it. Nice. Okay. Oh, we're good. That could have snowballed into something really bad. But we're good. Dude, come on. Oh, what's up, Tactics? Hope you've been well. And I hope you're ready for some Callisto, because that's what we're, that's what we're doing. Oh my goodness. Please fucking move. Get in the shimmy. What the fuck, man? Alright, so uh, my strat there is probably not um, the best. I could probably do that better. <laughs> I was trying to throw most of them into the, the spikes, but um, as anyone who has played this game will know, uh, sometimes grip just doesn't fucking work. <laughs> I swear it's so easy to throw an enemy at like, like, like try to throw an enemy over a railing or into spikes and they just, they just, they just barely, okay, I don't know why the camera's doing that. They just, they just barely don't, you know, clear the edge or, what's that, ammo? Oh, that's credits, fuck. Dude, come on. Alright, that was a little silly, but whatever. It's faster to stand there and then interact with it because it looks like it makes him stand up first. Traveling to the other breakers. Okay. Unlucky.
No shot him on world record pace. Uh, I'm not sure if I am. I didn't get below hover, so I, I don't know. Nice. It's close, though. Can you, if you have time radish, could you actually check, uh... Did you check what his time is going into below and also colony? Actually, colony might be better. Well, either one. Either one. Um, yes, this game is not super optimized, but it's also really inconsistent, so that's why. He finishes below at 58.17. Okay. There we go. See, I feel like the problem with grip there is that sometimes it feels heavier. If that makes sense. Like the enemies don't go as far as you think. Wait. Oh, you, oh I, I see. Sorry, you're saying like like ent entering colony. Wait, no. I'm confused. It looks like he'd be finishing this split at 58-17. That would make sense. I think I'm going to be a little bit behind him still. Because of uh, not getting the hover. Finish. Wait, finishing colony at 106? Yes, okay. Right. That makes sense. I think I'm going to be a little bit behind him after below. And then he is going to save time over me in Colony, but I, I, I could save time over him in Tower, basically. Well, he'll be close. I am not doing bangers, but ideally that should only lose me like 30 to 40 seconds to him. And he lost like a minute or two on the final boss, so like at, at least a minute, maybe more. So it's uh, I don't know. We'll see. I still got a little ways to go on this part, though. If not, I'm definitely on really big sub 120 pace, which is big. Man, I really wish I'd practice uh, practice below hover more. <laughs> that 40 seconds would be nice right now. I have a lot of grip batteries. That's actually really good. Okay, so I'm gonna be like at least a minute behind the record here. Fall off. Bro, get up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Sub hour in the colony, though. It's still pretty good. Good boss fight, yeah. Dude, what the fuck? All right, never making that mistake again. Bullshit. Still gold, by the way. Whatever. <laughs> Come on, man. What the fuck is that? Danny, I made it. Great. Where are you? 
some kind of sort of I have seen that in a couple other places. I just didn't think that would happen. You're almost to the colony. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Like, I didn't, I didn't get oxygen skip or below hover in this run, though, so, like, if I could get another run with a lost like that, and I, and I lost, like, a lot of time in Outbreak, too, so, like, maybe I will try to go for the record. How do you miss oxygen skip? I mean, I just haven't really practiced it that much. I just fucked up getting on the, on the railing. Otherwise, I don't think it's that bad. Alright, here's where reloading crashed the game last time, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Cool. Dude, fucking... Stop. Thank goodness. Oh no. Oh, it worked. Oh. Phew. Okay. It's been blocked for a second. I was gonna be upset. Right. I should head back to the elevator. I mean, I think sewer skip is easier. For example, honestly, even s skip and slide might be easier. Wait, why did I do that? Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do here. It's been a little bit since I've done this part, so hopefully I don't fuck it up. Yo, what's up, Demonic? No shot? Dude, sewer skip is very easy. Like, I don't know... <laughs> I feel like this is a hot take from you. Like, Bruv is not the hardest trick on the run, but it's definitely difficult. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Razor? Yo, thank you for the good luck. I appreciate it. Big. It's quick. The first stomp? Nah, the rest of it's kind of ass too, but that might be a, a hardware thing. Maybe it's easy with good hardware. You know, it's a dark matter. But I mean, like, sewer skip is literally just like you take the box over there and then you aim on the wall and you fall down. Like, it's very simple. I would, I would still say that that is easier than the stomp. That shit is irrelevant. No, it saves a lot of time. It's also a skip in the game. <laughs> do I need to do this? Yeah, I do. Uh, the bigger skip is after, is like right after sewer skip. So then, then you do skip and slide, and then you either drop into the slide or you do habitat skip. Habitat skip saves like five minutes. Um, oh, yo, thank you for the follow, by the way. I appreciate that. Alright, I haven't practiced this strat a ton, but this is pretty new and is fast. Get up there, you fuck. There we go. Real. You okay? Yo, Danny, come open this door, please. Bro, what? <laughs> oh, my inner way? Okay. Um. So, yeah. Well, so you used to be able to do that, like, because if, if enemies, including him, stand on collision, they're not supposed to, they die. Um, you used to be able to get him to stand on a certain spot in the doorway, but they patched it. 
And then a couple days ago, Looney found a YouTube video of someone doing it on that corner instead, and it still works. So now we just do that. Bro, you can cheese the shit out of all four of uh of those dudes. In fact, you'll actually see me do that this run. Well, one of them we straight up just skip, but yeah. Can't wait for it to get patched again? Maybe. And they haven't updated the game in forever, so I feel like that's probably not gonna happen. I mean, they can't take it away from this patch. So. At least there's that. These bosses sure are original. Yeah, I kind of wish they hadn't just had the same boss four times, but, you know. Or just made the game at all. I think it's fun sometimes. Greetings. I am Dr. Caitlin Marler, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to Arcus Station. We're excited to share with you our findings. A culmination of decades of research. Who's she talking to? Ugh. Are there really three minutes left in this chapter? I feel like this golds. I mean, my PB doesn't have the quick kill. Four, right? God damn it, he did one more swing. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, five. more for good measure that should be it yeah, okay so he will grab you most of the time there it's possible for him not to but it's unlucky and then yeah the other one that was just me i, just, I hit him too early this api is deprecated and discontinued well i'm not sure how to fix that off the top of my head but i'm sure there's a way to do it This cutscene skip takes forever. It really would almost be faster just to watch the cutscene. Yo, what's up, Mar? Yo, good morning. How's it going? Got here just in time for the last level of our epic speed run here. On pretty sick pace. It does not look like this is gonna record, but it depends on what our split is here. Systems are all shot to hell. Almost got it. I think we do gold this by a decent amount, so we'll see. We should get the hell out of here. Am I staying in like a minute here? Almost? 
Can we make it to him? Look yeah. To yeah, once you get to a high enough uh, thing, you just get that instead. Big. Alright, well, I don't know how good my tower gold is. We'll see. It might be. Can you tell me what Sim's, uh... Oh, you said it was 107 something. World record pace lol. Sim, do you think I can? I don't know how good um, of a tower I would need to get. Also, welcome back, Sim. Dude, Sim, I got a 750 lost. Uh, lost one in this run. I I don't know if this is still record pace though. I don't know. We'll see. I know Sim loses at least a, a, like a full minute on the boss. I'm not sure how much more than that though. I do have a lot of grip batteries. I'm pretty sure. So Hopefully we can just blast past this part. Fuck off. Move, Jacob. Fuck off. What the fuck? No, I'm getting Callistoed, man. <gasps> no, I'm getting Callistoed. Help. Okay. We're good. Minor time loss. Yeah, I just uh, reset, dude. It's over. Please move. Okay. How funny it would have been if I had forgotten to dupe the fuse in Colony, man. Just wouldn't have defused there. Doing pretty sick. Please run. You fuck. Alright. It's always deceptive how far that goopy shit goes over the floor. Like, dude, run! We gotta get a move on, man. We gotta go. Nice, that was good. Better than I usually get that. Oh, Radish, if you haven't seen that, you can do that, by the way. And I, I, I straight up just skipped the other one on this level with a fuse. <laughs> so yeah, see, the, the two heads just aren't a problem in the, in the, in the any percent run, at least. And Glitchless, you gotta fight them, or at least some of them. Well, two of them you can still cheese with dodges, and... Well, I guess the one in Colony you'd have to fight. I don't think the uh, quick kill is allowed. The of the and, uh... You are allowed to keep fuses, though. Like, not duplicate them, but, like... I, 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 I say dupe for all of them, but, like, it's a separate piece of tech. But, yeah, you can't duplicate them, but you can keep them when you're not supposed to. And, uh, I think you can... I'm pretty sure you still skip the one in Tower. Don't even know what to say. It's just advanced techniques. How are you feeling? I mean, I, I could see not allowing the quick kill and glitchless, like my head. Yeah, I could I could kinda see that. But then again it's like, are you not allowed to throw enemies up onto stuff where they die instantly too? Because like that's kinda that's literally the same exact thing. Did you see that? I, I mean it, like I don't know. I, I don't think it really matters either way. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I'm not in t like completely invested in like the glitchless run for this game. I don't really care that much. Like I run it sometimes, but it's 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 whatever. Fighting him is also fine. It's not a big deal. Wait, I had the prompt to interact with that like way before she got in here. Are you able to do that like sooner? I don't know. Oh wait, shit! This is a gold. Oh, 
Oh man, oh man, it's gonna be close. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, 116, best possible time. What happened back there? Alright, um, my goal, my, my chapter, or my, my tower 3 gold is 311. But that's the first time that I... Because this is the, these splits I'm running against is the is the first run I ever got with Lost Skip, yeah. which partially explains the massive time saves that I have. Right, but I don't know how good 311 is. If I can gold that by like 30 or 40 seconds somehow, what the hell? then we're good. This is actually, dude. If I lit literally, if I just practiced below hover, man. Uh. Well. Regardless, I think I might actually try to go for the record then, if we don't get it. We don't want to see this. I think the people would disagree, Radish. Well, whatever we get, this was a really good run overall. 120 behind record? Okay. Wait, Sim, what's your gold for Tower 3? Oh, I don't remember how to do this exactly. Uh... God damn it. Alright, I'll just do it normally. You can dodge, you can skip this part, but I don't remember exactly how to do it. Okay, one. Two forty nine gold. Yeah, see, like I f well. Okay, we'll see then. There's the other. Reload, man. Is there another explosives? Ah, whatever. No fucking way, man. Yo, thanks for the follow. That's so fucking ass. This game sucks. That was a pretty decent boss fight, too. Just goes a fucking minute, man. Or whatever. I literally just got fucking callisto Definition of the word right there, man. Like, I was dodging. Some bullshit happened. Instant death. What did I even do wrong, man? Like, come on, dude. So dumb. I don't know. This probably wasn't gonna record anyway, so it's like whatever, but jeez, dude, that's so ass. That's so fucking dumb, man. Alright, whatever.
I know those don't do a lot of damage to him, but I'm still throwing at him. Or them at him, because I know it, uh, stuns him. Uh-oh. Don't like this. What even happened, actually? Did I get hit by one of those guys? Oh my god, don't die. Holy shit. Just get the PB, man. Come on. Please die. Thank you. <sighs> God. Alright. So I lost a minute to that. Right? So it looks like this still would- This might have 116 It wouldn't have quite been the record, but it would have been close. Alright, well... <laughs> God damn it, man. Uh, is this a 117? Ah, uh, if it is, it's gonna be close. To one eighteen oh two or some shit. All right, big PB. Big PB. Um, tragic tower three split there. But uh, you know, that is still a nine and a half minute PB. So we basically maintained our pace from like the end of Lost, so... Looks like you're Tower 3, yeah. You don't know what you're doing. I didn't. Uh, yeah, no, it's a little bittersweet, because I lost like a minute on the boss fight to a little bit of, a little bit of jank, but uh... Overall, that was, uh, that was really nice. That, that, that probably should have been a 116, but, um, I... I don't know, I got a really good loss skip in this run, and that definitely helped carry us a lot. Um, I'm a little afraid to run against these splits now because that lost one was so good. But, we'll, we'll see what happens, I guess. Yeah, no, that was still really good. Um, obviously the thing at the end was stupid, but like... I was probably gonna run it back anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, also, you got some Osmorn. Um, I, I would consider submitting this, but I know that, um, Looney submits this too, or he has been submitting it, and I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to, you know, to step on, on Looney's toes there in that regard. If nobody else submits it at one point, then, and I have an extra slot, I would, I would consider doing it, but, um, I'd, I, I personally would really like to see Looney run this with GDQ, or, or even, like, Sim, uh, as well, if he submitted it, but... It would be something I would I would consider I guess if nobody's nobody's uh doing it. Run it back. I that was the run back. No, nah, I don't I don't have I don't have time for another one tonight, but I was going to do more tomorrow, so we'll, we'll we'll do that. Time for Valorant? No. Probably not tonight. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe later. Wouldn't mind if I also submitted. Well, I mean, we'll see. I just did I mean, I didn't want to like, you know, you know what I mean. I don't know. I, 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 would I would love to see you run this game at GDQ, that's that's all. Who cares if you're late to work? Look, I already feel like I got pretty lucky on Lost once. I'm not trying to... I don't, I don't, I don't know if we're going to get that again. We'll see. But yeah, more, more runs tomorrow for sure, though.